Welcome back everyone. This is IT for Global Business. Today we're going to be talking about how small businesses use IT. So first let's think about a small business. So think of some business that you uh, normally go to. Maybe it's a small shop, maybe it's the Mandu place across the street, um, but what, um, uh, what kind of IT or what kind of technology does the small business use um, in their organization? So for most small businesses, especially like food shops, for example, um, the kind of IT that they use support um, doing business, right? They don't want to invest in uh, doing business or they don't want to invest in IT unless it helps them to do business or helps them to save money in some way. So what's some IT products or some devices that we would normally see in a small business? Well, um, any place you go, it's probably going to have a cash register. Okay, so cash register. Um, most of the cash registers today are not mechanical, or they have a little bit of mechanical parts, but um, mostly they're digital. They're just a normal computer, just like a Windows computer. They have the same vulnerabilities. Um, they're just running special software that takes up the whole screen. That's the only difference. Um, so we probably have a cash register, and that helps the business keep track of all of the cash that they take in, how many sales they've done, uh, what kinds of things they sold, uh, potentially what uh, ingredients they might need to purchase in the future, things like that. Okay, next, to support the cash register, they also have the internet. Okay, so the internet provided by some sort of internet service provider like SK Telecom, Olay, something like that, they have internet access. And this gives them access to a lot of other features that the cash register can usually handle as well. And to have the internet, they first need usually some sort of internet connection from the service provider, but also a modem. A modem would be like a little box that the internet service provider gives you. Whenever you plug it in, then you can actually get internet from the box. Okay? And to be able to use the internet or have multiple computers on the internet at the same time, they probably connect the modem into a wireless access point or a switch. So a wireless access point or a switch are very common. Um, you have them in your homes, uh, you see them in most businesses as well, especially switches, not always access points, but uh, a growing number also have access points to give access to Wi-Fi. Okay, so they probably have a modem going into an access point and a switch, and then that provides usually the cash register, at least, internet, and sometimes the customers, sometimes the employees, um, and we'll talk more about that later. So another thing, the internet, if they have the internet, that helps uh, businesses be able to do credit card transactions. So without the internet, um, it becomes really difficult to do credit card transactions unless you're using a telephone. So a telephone with a dial-up connection Basically, you, instead of having um, a fiber optic connection or a cable connection for the internet, you can have internet over the telephone to kind of call the bank directly and place your transactions, place your orders. So credit card transactions today are mostly done over the internet because most small businesses even have internet access. The cash register can also uh, provide credit card transactions with an additional uh, the box that you put your credit card into and either slide it or put your PIN number in. Um, so cash register, basically just a computer um, with special software on it and special devices connected to the computer. Um, credit card transactions, probably the most common way that we do transactions today, although this is also changing. And then internet, um, some sort of internet connection where we have a modem and then some way to connect to the internet um, a hardware device that's providing either Wi-Fi or um, some sort of switching capability. So basically, this is what almost every business that you're going to go into has. So if you go down Myeongdong, every business you go into will have a cash register, an internet connection, and be able to process credit cards. Now, you know, 15, 20 years ago, this stuff didn't exist. Right? This is actually a new business. These things are very new for businesses, but all businesses are using them. Why are all businesses using them? Well, because cash registers, especially digital cash registers, 
are much easier to keep track of purchases and transactions that go on in your business. Um, the internet lets you actually do credit card transactions so you don't have to hold cash, and that makes actually cheaper uh, management fees and things like that. The internet also supports um, inventory um, purchasing. So inventory purchasing. If I'm running out of kimchi or if I'm running out of rice or something like that, then I need to be able to purchase more. Well, before I had to either pick up the phone and call whoever I, I buy those things from, but now I can just make an order on the internet and say, uh, this Friday, ship me some, some more kimchi, for example. So the internet has also really helped the way that we do inventory and purchasing or getting uh, more inventory into our, our store. So that way we don't have to um, turn customers away by saying, actually, we don't have any kimchi today, so you can't have your kimchi bokumbap. Please choose something else. And then maybe they just walk out because that's what they wanted. So we can do inventory management um, and, and purchasing online much easier. And of course, managing the inventory itself and making predictions about inventory is also a very um, useful technology that we'll talk more about later. Okay, so I just wanted to talk, think of, make you think about um, one, uh, uh, one small business, right? Think about one small business that you uh, might normally go into and what kind of technology are they using? Most likely they have all of these things, but 10 years ago, they wouldn't have had these things or most of them would not have had, for example, the internet, uh, maybe even a digital cash register. Those are new, right? So everything that you're learning about new now is still relatively new, even though you've probably seen it most of your life or as long as you've been buying things, um, it's very new. And most people don't really understand what it means to have a digital cash register. So the businesses are using them because they're very useful, but they don't completely understand how to take full advantage of all of this technology that they already have. But now this technology is so inexpensive and it saves them so much money that all businesses are using it. So the next time you go into a small business, try to look around for, um, do they have um, an internet connection connected to an access point or a switch? Do they have a digital cash register also connected to the same access point or switch? And do they take credit cards? Whenever they take credit cards, does it go through um, a modern internet connection or are they using a telephone line? Some still use telephone, but very few. Okay, so next time you go into a small business, think about these kinds of things.